See you in all generals. Welcomes. Ye. Enjoy the animal world. In this edition of Enjoy the Animal World, we braved the winter west coast rain to visit the West Coast National Park. This is the South African National Park. Located 88 kilometers north of Cape Town in the Western Cape Province of South Africa. We have arrived. Let's head straight to Kralbar. We have 25 kilometers of animal sighting and appreciating nature. This area is imperturbable. As if it is keeping a secret hidden deep within itself. Yes, look. The shrubland is pure and clean. As though it had never been disturbed by man and his vicious life-killing machines. Did you spot that? There seems to be our first sighting. Yes, it's an ostrich. It seems to be on its own. Ostriches are known for being sociable and usually travel in pairs. Or even in herds of around four or five. Maybe we will see more of them as we drive along. Did you know? An ostrich is perhaps the most well-known example of a bird adapted to life on the plains. It can cover up to 30 to kilometers per day in Strandveld, Coo Scrub and Feinbos areas. Interesting. Look there is our second sighting. Three Cape Spurfowls just in front of us. The Cape Spurfowls are common game birds. They're in the pheasant family Phasianidae, endemic to southern West Africa, as largest Franklin. Cape Spurfowls occur in the western Cape province of South Africa and southern parts of Namibia. Remember we also spotted them in Kirsten Butch Botanical Gardens. They normally run away rather than flying when disturbed, erecting crown feathers as they flee. Let us move on. Hopefully we will spot other animals. Disregard the weather conditions. Stop. I think I spotted our third sighting. Shh. Let's try to get closer to check which animal is it. There. It's jumping and running into the shrubs. It's a steinbuck. We've lost it to the dense shrubland. There it goes. Their preferred habitat is the one with enough concealment, such as tall shrubs. Let's move on and explore more of the National Park's offerings. West Coast National Park surrounds the beautiful clear waters of the Langebon Lagoon. The West Coast National Park is a fantastic location to start. If you want to explore the unadulterated, natural side of the Western Cape. Let's take a shot left to the Atlantic viewpoint. Did you know, on a clear day, you can see Table Mountain National Park from here. That's a walking distance of about 100 kilometers. Interesting, isn't it? This park poses endless natural beauty, considering that it is located on the coastlines. Look, another ostrich encounter. It is very short-sighted ostrich and seems to be lonely in that field all on its own. This now proves to me that ostriches can live alone sometimes as this our second sighting of a sole ostrich. As we drive further down, I'm craving an antelope sighting. We've spotted something. Look, what are those? They look more like antelopes. Yes, the bombbok, the molluscus pigargus. A medium-sized, often dark brown antelope with a conspicuous, wide white blaze on its face. It also has a pure white rump, belly, and hocks, as well as a black tail tip. Both sexes have horns, 
albeit ram's horns are larger and heavier than ewes. When it comes to their diet, this antelope seem to prefer short grass plains within the vegetation, typical of the Fimbo's plant shrublands. Did you know? The bondbok is endemic to the Cape Fimbo's of South Africa and cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Thoughtful conservation has ensured the survival of the bombok, which was previously thought to be the rarest antelope in the entire world. The bombok is now restricted to South African protected areas. Have you been to the National Park of the West Coast? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Secret beaches. Well-built and spacious broy areas. A ton of exhilarating outdoor activities and some of the best wildflower viewing in the country are just a few of the amazing features that make the West Coast National Parks a beautifully preserved, spotless paradise on Earth and the ideal getaway destination. Here are some of the featured tourist attractions in this park. This information center covers everything I needed regarding this visit. Let's walk through the Broy area and see how the facilities are arranged. Now, let's head back to the Lengibon side of the West Coast National Park, via the beach. At last, a sighting of a group of ostriches. I wonder why the first to be spotted are wandering on their own. This park is bordered by the wavy Atlantic Ocean on the west, and the R27 coastal road. Due to the weather conditions, the ocean seems to be experiencing rough seas. The weather is windy and stormy resulting to big waves. Let's drive to the sites at the Seaberg viewing point. Hopefully the weather permits us to witness some of Western Cape's greater sites such as Table Mountain the Cedarburg Mountains and the southern part of the Lengibon Lagoon, from the Seaburg viewpoint. To acknowledge the West Coast National Park's incredible diversity is to express its allure. Rugged scrub explodes into a mosaic of vibrant wildflowers every spring, and the wildlife that calls this home ranges from antelope and predators on land to the magnificent fish, mammals, and sharks of the Atlantic Ocean. The cyan-colored water of the vast lagoon meets the postcard-perfect white of the sand. This is a land of magic and contrast, where color, scale, and variety all test your creative abilities. Look, that little historical stone cottage perched atop the granite boulders that overlook the Lengibon Lagoon. Let's walk closer. Wow, according to legend, Bolly Prens, a Dutch local, erected the tiny stone house at Seaburg from stones he reportedly collected near the hill's foot and carried up in sacks. Just north of the hill, he also had a vegetable and fruit garden with some of the quince, fig, and prickly pear trees still. Standing, he had access to clean underground water sources but you may learn more about it in the museum within the cottage. I'm afraid to enter this house. I'm all on my own on top here. But let us go in either way. I need to see and read more about the history of this cottage and Seabuck. 
Wild Ray informative posters inside here. We're in Seaberg Viewpoint, West Coast National Park, Langibon, Cape West Coast, Western Cape, South Africa. Great landscape and nice views from the top here. Can you see the Hyrax or Dassey? Arguably one of the most interesting animals in the world. Rock Hyraxes enjoy spending a lot of time in the sun. About 95% of the time, the Rock Hyrax is sleeping. This may entail basking in the sun or piling. In which animals pile on top of one another inside a den. Both actions serve to offset the Hyrax's underdeveloped thermoregulation. On chilly, wet days. They might not even leave their burrows until the sun is at its highest in the sky. Can you spot that animal? Looks more like an antelope. Gemsbok maybe. It's too far to determine or identify. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos.